Hello friends, welcome back to Ramov Seed. In this video, we are going to learn context. So in this session, we are going to learn some expressions and context of GitHub Actions. So let's start. So first of all, what is context? So context are a way to access information about workflows runs, runner environments, jobs, and steps. And each context is an object that contains properties which can be string or other objects. And context objects and properties will vary significantly under different workflows run conditions. And here you can see the syntax of our context. Right here, you can access context using this expression syntax. So this that's the expression syntax. So here you can see. Then here, in this syntax instead of uh, we are using some object that have some information about our workflow and what what I write in this syntax is called expression, right? Then. In this expression, we can also have numbers, boolean, true or false, and could also be just a string, uh, also float numbers, and we can also have operators. So we can have things like uh, comparison, comparing two strings, and so on. Then, now, the next is here I mentioned some context availability. So different contexts are available throughout the workflow run. For example, the secret context may only be used a certain place within a job. And here GitHub also provides some functions that we can use. And this function will be evaluated inside this bracket. Right, this bracket. Uh, this bracket syntax and the result will be passed um, to some key in your yaml file so this object are called context and context contains some information about your workflow and and the github con context as we saw context the token github id and commit id and so on so let's check so here, here as you can see, here I mentioned an example, an example of context. You can see here, name, then on push, then jobs, runs on, then steps. So as you can see here, steps, in steps, here. So here, uh, in this workflow, here available all contexts that we can use, right? So here, first of all, you can see in steps, these are our steps. So here, in this workflow, we have functions and this functions is to JSON. Here you can see the function is to JSON and this workflow uses to JSON in order to convert our context. So first of all, you can see a GitHub, then to JSON job. That means this step, this name, uh, this uh, commit, uh, com, uh, this all, uh, this line will show about our job information. Then steps, then runner, then strategy, then metrics. And here, first of all, GitHub, right? That means this will show us about our GitHub. That means commit ID, reference, token, and so on. So let's check. So first of all, I'm going to copy this example. And now, as you know, here I'm using Visual Studio Code. So now here I'm going to create a separate file for my this context. So I'm going to enter a name. Context.yaml. So 
so now so now i'm going to save this file now let's push the code so let's open a new terminal First command is it in it? Then git dot git space add dot then hyphen m and in double quote enter your commit so my commit will be next then git push so it's done so now let's check. So go to our repository and now go to the actions. So here, here is our context workflow. So as you can see here, the status is success. You can see here, that means we have successfully done our job. So let's open. And now let's check the information about our data. Sorry, about our workflow. So as you can see, are the steps. First of all, GitHub, then job, then steps, runner, strategy, metrics. So let's check first of all GitHub context. So as I told you here, this this step will show us about our github so you can see the token then job then our is our job name then reference sha repository this is our uh, account uh, username and this is our repository name right then repository owner see our username then repository owner id repository url you can see our url right then runner ID, then runner number, and so on. You can see the information of our GitHub. As you can see, here. author, author email ID, author name, then committer, and so on. So you can see the details. And uh, you can see the details of our data account. Okay. okay, so that's our GitHub context. Then next is job context. So let's check. So here they show us our about our job. So our job is succeed, right? So the status is status is success, right? So that's why it uh, here you can see the status success. Then next is steps. So let's check steps. So in step context, you can see our steps. So you can see your outcome success, conclusion success. Right. So, okay. Then next is runner context. So let's check. So as you can see here, in runner context, first of all, they show us our operating system. Then name, GitHub action saving, then tool cache, then temporary uh, uh, like your path you can see here, then workspace, right? Okay. Then after that, strategy context. So in strategy context, you can see here 
true, then job index zero, job total one. Here our in our workflow there is only one job we can see here. Here, here only one job in this workflow. So that's why the number of job is one, job total one, and max per job one. Okay. Then after that, last matrix context. In matrix context, null. Okay. So that's the information about our workflow, right? Job, step, then GitHub, runner, strategy, matrix, and so on. So that's the context. As you can see the example here. The example that available all context here. So that's the context. So So here, in this session, we have learned context. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps Center.